Hey, it's Adam with Tech Dive AV Club. Today, we're going to talk about how to make a short for YouTube in Vegas Pro. So first off, if you've not disabled this welcome screen, it will give you these options and you would want to select this option. But we're going to talk about how to do it if you've disabled this welcome screen. And let's go to this little gear up here in the corner called project settings. This is where you can change everything you want about a video. The 1080 by, don't worry about the comma, 1920. All right. Now we have a vertical video. Let's find a video to create. I'm just going to cut up an old tutorial. Now you'll notice that my video is vertical again. Uh, no, I'm sorry, not vertical, horizontal. Um, I need to make it vertical again because I hit yes when changing settings, and that's probably a common thing that's going to happen. All you have to do is swap it, and you're back. Now, um, something you'll notice is this isn't very uh, easy to see. So there's a couple different ways you could easily kind of fix this uh, uh set up and uh, what I want to do is show one part like the preview at the top of my video and I want to show what I'm doing at the bottom the easiest way the absolute easiest way to do that there's more than one way is just to hold control and to copy your video uh, and then if you don't have a video track you can hit control shift Q to create a new video track as well and the next thing you want to do let's just get rid of that extra audio let's go to ignore event grouping select the audio hit delete and toggle this back on. Now we've got two videos that match perfectly. Uh, to keep these together so we don't mess it up, we can actually hit hold control, select all three events, and then hit G. That will group them together to where they're all three treated as a group. So now we're gonna go to our video effects. We're going to go to picture and picture. Now there is other ways to do this. You might see in a comment someone saying to use the event pan crop. Um, or you can use track cropping. There's all sorts of ways you could do this. Um, but for the picture in picture, um, you can drop it right here on the event, or you can drop it on the track itself. I'm going to drop it on the event, but if you've got more than one event you're doing this with, I would recommend dropping it on the track itself. We're going to drop one, and then we're going to close that out for a second, and then we're going to drop the second one, and then we're going to close that out for a second so uh let's just decide the top one's going to be the top so let's you can hit this fx button on your event to open it back up and then we can move and resize this however we want and i'm going to put that right there now i can go to the second one i mean to rotate it I can put it over top of this. Uh, the problem is maybe I chose wrong, right? This is behind it. Well, it's layers. We can just come over here to the track layers, swap them around. I just clicked and dragged. Now this one's in front. And so this is the business in. Now I can show the business of what I'm doing here. And I can show the video I'm doing there. If you want a border, an easy way to do that would just go to Media Generator, go to uh, Solid Color, and you can choose any color you want. I'm going to do black. I'm going to put it in between here. Actually, no, on top. And for this one, I'm going to do the picture in picture as well. Go back to video effect, picture in picture. And for this one here, this is a click and drag interface. I have more about picture in picture in another video. Uh, but for this one, what we want to do is just go to freeform shape. And look at that. Now we got whatever we want here. Uh, we can make an easy to make border. You don't necessarily have to do full free form. You could easily do fixed parallelogram. I'd give you a little more control. All right, let's say I'm ready to render this out. I can grab this video right here. I can go to file, and this is the important part. Render as, most of your videos are ready to render as vertical. 
However, you'll see in Magic's AVC, AAC, if it says portrait, that means that it's ready to render as portrait. And it might have your Intel processor or your NVIDIA graphics card or your AMD graphics card, in my case, an AMD graphics card as a hardware encoding. This is just the encoding type. Uh, but for this one, I wanted a 1080p uh, video and I'm going to have a portrait 1080p video if I select one of these two. You can customize the template more in the customized template, uh, which is covered more in other videos. So now that we got this, let's do the AMD version. I'm going to call this test video. So as a bonus step, let's look at YouTube. You can just click and drag the video there. And it says it looks like you're uploading a short. Thank you so much for watching. Like this video helped you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one. We're going to do lots more Vegas tutorials and more general purpose production tutorials as well. See you next time.